everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and I have that other tonic studio uh, craft box right here well, let's just get in it and see what it is I'm not sure which one comes first this one or the other one I guess we'll find out in a minute so they send it in this nice mailer so it protects your stuff a little better I appreciate that tonic studios and monthly box of craft products tonic craft kit collection i like this new box look it's all like silver and beautiful anyway and it tells you nouveau tonic studios and craft perfect which are their brands shop our full range of products at www.tonic t-o-n-i-c studios.com social media check them out all right let's cut her open <sighs> inspiring creativity through a craft that's what it says right there and you get the first peek see that's what that says and then something orange oh the whole one side's like orange and white hello we hope you enjoy your craft kit well you know i will what do we have look at how it's looking They've like stepped up their game. Look at that. Not th their game was needing stepped up. All right. Let's see. What first? What first? We have some kind of a marker here. Nuvo glitter marker, water-based glitter pen, and pressed uh, peony or peony, however you want to say it. Peony, I think. And it shows you along the side what the color is. Let's open it. I'm nosy. Let's see what it says on the back. Press Peony Nouveau Glitter Marker Pens are perfect for adding shimmering highlights to your paper products. These water-based pens have a broad nib, making the pen smooth, sturdy, and easy to use. To ensure an even cover of glitter, shake the pen well before use. To activate the pen, press and hold the nib for three seconds. To flood the tip, test the pen on a scrap piece of paper before use. Look out for other glitter marker colors. I have a pad of paper over here. I do. It's right here. I'm going to turn the page because it's already got some things swatchy swatched. Shake it, shake it. Do you think that's well shooked? I hope so. Let's take that off and hold it for three, down for three seconds. One, two, three. One, two, three. Starting. One, two, three. One, two, three. It left a dot now. Okay. The lid does fit on the end. Sorry. I'm playing with it. Oh, sure. A little bit. Alright. <laughs> you can see where I held it into it. Started working, and yes, I write better than that. <laughs> I promise. See how it's very shimmery and glittery. Wish that you could see it um, in person. It, it's really, really glittery. Hopefully, you can tell. Anyways, I like that pen. All right, I'm not gonna use it for so much writing and coloring in. I'm I used way more of that than I should have. I'm gonna use it like they suggested as for highlights. something in here looks like a pin to me tonic studios well look it's got like silver dots and kind of a um like a orange colored tangerine kind of dot and inside of it there is a nice pen Art. 
says at the top, it says, please give me a big old thumbs up. Or just give me a big thumbs up. I didn't put please. I'm saying please. All right, that's a really nice pen. It's a little top heavy in my opinion, um, which to me makes it feel a little ungainly when you're writing. But that could just be me. I feel like it's a little top heavy. It may not really be. All right. So there's that. So we got a marker and we got a neat ink pen. So what else are we doing in here in this box? There's something in a package. Nouveau Craft Perfect Tonic Studio. And it's sort of a gray and it's got like stars and dots on it. I wonder what's in there. All kinds of stuff. It's all the goodies. Like I said, they stepped up for the game a little bit. Instead of being in here loose, they have put it in that baggie. Adhesive tape runner, maxi 8mm by 8m, solid clear tape. I've never used their tape. The Nuvo adhesive tape runner is a solid smooth running glue roller that can be used on multiple surfaces with a permanent hold on card and paper. The engineered applicator is designed to glide... Uh, across the surface and also shelters the roller to prevent rolling from the wrong side. The ergonomic barrel sits perfectly in your hand and gives you a comfortable and controlled application with a convenient replaceable cap, making the adhesive tape runner a must-have craft item. Look out for other tape runners in the range. I didn't know they made them. Let's take a look at it. So it's got this cover, don't lose that. And then as per all these style runners, there's the roller ball, or the roller bar, not ball. All right, let's, we'll see if I can glue this down with a little bit of glue. I'm just gonna go across this way because I really don't wanna waste if it's a good product. Lays down pretty good. I don't know if you can see that strip. Oh, see it up there? Right here? No. It says it's permanent, so let's push it down pretty good. That's a good bond. That's nice. That's like more like the old sticky thumb was when it first came out before somebody bought the mountain. Anyway. I like that. It might be my new favorite glue runner. Just might. We'll see how that is over time. The problem with glue runners is a lot of times it seems really good and then you go back, you know, six months later and the whole thing, it, the glue dried out and the thing fell apart. And you don't want that to happen with your card when you send it to someone. You don't want them to go back later and say, oh, look at this card that so-and-so made me and it falls apart. Next thing I see is Nouveau Crystal Drops. Add dimensional details to craft products. And this one is more pearlescent and the color is metallic navy blue. Trying to hold it, you know. I know I'm like over on one side too much, but anyway, so look at the color of that. Isn't that really pretty? Let's put it on paper and see. What we think. Oh, and it's got this beautiful top that has that you know, rhinestone in. They just, you know, go over and above so that their, their product looks really neat sitting on a shelf. Really? I cannot make it round to save my soul. I'm trying to use the tip of it to round it out, but not today, guys. Not today. Alright, let me show you what we got here. So it does have a little dimension, but I flattened it out a lot. But see that blue dot? Let me get closer. It's very pearlescent. A really pretty color. Can you see? Nice. Love it. But to go with that is in this little pot. Nouveau Glimmer Pastel used to create vibrant dimensional shimmer. All right, so I was trying to open up this Nouveau Glimmer 
uh, paste. I said pastel. It's actually Nouveau Glimmer Paste. I can't see well. Even though I have the bifocals, the close-up is not great. Uh, anyways, I guess that you use this to make dis uh, dimensional shimmer on your project. Anyways, there's the the pot. But look, it's got really pretty little like, art there, little flowers and silver. Anyway, and it's very glittery. But let me show you inside. I took the seal off. So, had a pretty collar. Hopefully you can see that well, because some of my lighting was borrowed by my son and not given back. Anyway, hopefully you can see that. I don't know how to use it. I'm gonna have to watch their videos to find out, because honestly, I know nothing about the Glimmer Paste. I've heard of it, but I've never used it and never even seen it in person until now. All right, so next we have, I have no idea, something. Nouveau Mica Mist, and it's leaked a little bit in here. Ideal for adding shimmering sparkle to a creative project. Shake before use, and it's Midnight Horizon, and it's 10 mLs or 0.34 fluid ounces. And of course, you gotta shake it, shake it, shake it. All right. There's the tube, and it's sort of a gray color, like a dark gray kind of thing, and it's very metallic y. Let's spray it on our paper. Here's our project we've been. Right. Oh, I got it all over my tablecloth. Helps to make sure you know where you've got your little thing aimed, and it's all over me now. Apparently, I've got a spot on my shirt. Not of it, of something maybe lemonade. Got it all over me. I'm now like glimmering and shimmering like the Tin Man. All right. So depending on how close or far away that you hold um, any of this stuff, um, when you spray it, you will get more or less little, you know, um, big and small spatters. I held it a little close, so I've got quite a bit of spatter and you can see where my thumb was so you can actually use like a like a stencil like a mat either a stencil or um, some kind of solid object to spray around or spray through and you will get shapes and things um, so maybe you want to do this around um, wedding bells or something maybe it's for a wedding card and this I was thinking that because it's like a silver so you have like a cutout of wedding bells and you spritz uh, you know what I mean? Like a stencil. And so the inside would be like, you'd get this, the uh, wedding bells, and then you could adorn that however you wanted to. Just for an example, or you can just, you know, splatter it on and for an effect or whatever. So it, it, it's a neat product. Um, makes me think a lot of, um, what did I used to use a lot of? Hattered Angels or something spray. Like this is Mica Mist. I like it. I just don't like wearing it because that was me, not them. I and it's all over my tablecloth because I didn't have the nozzle pointed the right way. And anyway, now we have some beautiful baby pink colored sequins. Spring Rose, they call them. Pure Sheen sequins by Nuvo, and it has um, like large medium and small and then the little like centers the like where the holes poked out in a sequin those are in there too so these will look really good in a shaker or you know glue it on strategically isn't that pretty i love the color of those that's pretty much my favorite color all right and then instead of the um craft colored binder thing. They have a white now with silver on it. And inside of there we are going to have our dies and stamps. First we have a sticker that says Serendipitous Pure uh, Purse Box. Serendipitous Purse Box. 
I have no idea. There's a sticker about it. The craft room. Visit our craft room to get tutorials and inspiration from your favorite uh, crafters. And I, this does give you a pretty good um, look at what they actually just sent. And then they've got their QR, so you can scan it to get those tutorials. Let me get close. So they're little, uh, like, um, favor bags or gift bags, you know, a little tiny, you could probably put a gift card in, maybe some candy, something like that in there, or a ring or, you know, some kind of jewelry. So here is the actual die to make that little purse thing. So it shows you, you know, how big it's going to actually be next to my hand. So yeah, you know, gift, a gift card would fit in there with some candy, like I said, or a ring box or something like that, you know, earrings, necklace. Um, so that makes that uh, very intricate uh, gift bag. So I mean, this is this is fancy. Is it not? You know, it's fancy. And then this gives you tags and um, sentiments and things that you can also cut out. You know, the dies for that. Did I show you the side of this? Did I hold it up the wrong side so that you could see? I probably did because I was looking at it. So look at how intricate that is. All the like scroll work and stuff. And you know, it shows you how it's going to fold up and everything, the different pieces. That's going to be really neat. I, I hope I am able to get this made for you so you can see it. And then this, it says with love and for you and that might say happy birthday or something. Thanks, best wishes, just for you. Yeah, I think that might, that one right there might say happy birthday. It's a little hard to read. I mean, it'd, it'd be a lot easier once you punch it out. Just see what, you know, roll it through your cutting machine. Anyways, show you that a little closer. All kinds of. And then you have your stamps to coordinate. Thank you, love, best wishes, lots of love, special day. And they give you the QR code there as well. So you can scan it and see what to, you know, some projects and how to use. Love this. They actually sent you a small binder, which was a little thicker, so that you can put your stuff in there. So, not pretty. And ta da! So we can start by putting this in here. We could maybe even put that sticker on the front of there so we know what's in there. See? We could stick out right in the center. So we know what stamps and dies we're looking at. And so I'm not sure how many. You could probably get four of these in here. Maybe five if you really crammed them. So hopefully they send you one every you know, three or four kits so that you can always have room and maybe you could label them on the end. Like these are birthday related. These are Christmas. These are whatever. Um, that's a very nice touch. I like that. Really do. All right. And rather than having that um, Manila envelope that my, I've never gotten, well, out of my three kits now, uh, this being the third, the first two had bent up corners of the paper, and this is a nice folder. It can be used over and over for things, right? Not that the manila envelope can't, but this seems to be, it doesn't open all the way. It's just open like, on two sides. So you can slide your paper in and out very easily, but it is a little less dinged up on the corners. So what do we have here? We have an embossed piece that has circles that have like lines through them. Very uh, zentangly in my, you know, and it's very metallic-y and a dark like plum. I don't know if you can see the pattern real well. Hopefully that's not too blurry. I can't see because it's in front of the thing. And then you have your regular canvas um, and a nice, oh, I don't know what kind of blue you would call that, sort of a flower blue maybe or something I'm not really good with the colors but it's just a canvas um, textured 
cardstock, sort of basic, but really pretty and very handy and you need lots of that. And here it is in a nice purple color. What color is this? Sugar plum maybe? In my favorite color, baby pink. Another piece if I can get it. Baby pink's my favorite color. I love all colors, but I mean all colors, even the ones people don't think are pretty because all the colors make up, you know, the world makes it interesting. Anyways, this is like a craft paper with a, um, like a copper penny, um, like a bright copper penny, um, all over. It's got little flowers and like, um, fern and leaves and get up close so you can see that pattern it's very pretty and very reflective and, but very dainty like that a lot and then we have a piece of smooth white carpet stock really smooth this would be good for like copic markers and that kind of thing a very reflective kind of a purple we had one in like a more of a green for christmas but <laughs> look how holographic it is and like shiny and reflective because that's my ring light it's a really pretty look at all the colors you get but it's like a plum colored if you look at it more flat without a light shining on it a very beautiful metallic um like light blue color with a more of a mm -hmm, what kind of a texture is that not really an orange peel texture I'm not sure but it's nice and textury and shimmery love that one and this has got like a variety of blue and like white or not white but more clear like it's got more than one color blue um uh glitter isn't that pretty i wish you could tell i don't think you can it's really shimmery because of that so those are all of our colored um specialty papers this one did not come with a six by six pack of papers but it came with um the binder so we have all of these beautiful papers to um i'm trying to open it like a regular folder it has all these beautiful specialty papers and it has this nice binder to keep your um folders of cutting dies and stamps so you can keep you know a few of those in there i'm thinking three or four probably is going to be the most so i'm hoping that they send one every three or four boxes so that's a really nice touch and it's going to make these little purse gift bags i have a cat into things with there's an ink pen to sign your cards and things there is a uh, tape runner that i really like uh, the bond is really nice I've never used that before i'm going to order some because that is a serious bond there's the glimmer paste which i have never tried before in that beautiful blue there is the mica mist by nouveau in that sort of um silver gray color like a darker silver gray there is the glim, uh, glitter marker in that pressed uh, peony color beautiful there is the beautiful pink sequins everything's beautiful right how many times can i say it the lovely haha -ha, um crystal uh, nouveau crystal drops And I think that is everything from this box. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. What do you think of this one? Um, I hope I get to make something to show you. I hope I get to make one of the little gift bags so I can show you how nice it is when it's made up. I'm going to try. I'm really going to try. Um, but for one thing, my cutting machines are all still in storage. I've got um, Sizzix, the Big Shot, um, the Big Kick big kick um and i have the um silhouette they're still in storage <laughs> and, i mean they're still you know packed up and oh well, they could be in storage or they could be here uh, or they could still be at the apartment 
but I hope to get it found so that I can show you um, what this is like made up. And if not, well, maybe I'll just make one later down the road and show it to you randomly. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try. Anyways, please, please give me that big old thumbs up. That really helps my channel. Please subscribe. That is the most wonderful gift you can give me. Why is my Alexa talking to me? Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. was trying to show me how to make kale and pistachio pesto spaghetti. I don't know why. <laughs> she just randomly just chimes in when she feels the need. Hi there, meow meow. Anyways, guys, please share my video with others so that they might subscribe as well. You never know. Maybe they'll want to listen to me babble and hear my Alexa come on randomly. I'll probably have to edit that out because I don't want to get dinged for some kind of copyrighted background music. Thank you for watching and listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. Bye, guys. All right, so I did make a card. Um, I do not have my cutting machine to use the dies that came with the tonic kit. I wish I did. It is uh, in the storage and so I have to find it. But instead, what I did was I used, this is a template from the uh, Jelly Bean Soup Shaker Cards. This is the release paper that around the, um, the shaker like window bubble thing. I used it to make the ice cream scoop shapes. And so there's Neapolitan going on here. So we have a chocolate layer, which came with the um, Tonic Studio Kit. We have a vanilla layer, which is the white cardstock that came with the kit that I then added glitter to. And then the pink cardstock uh, for the strawberry layer. And I did little bits of strawberry with a uh, colored pencil and gave it some shading. They all are dripping. Uh, someone asked me what you do with washi tape. So that's why there's washi tape on here just to show uh, something that you can do. I did some layers in the Neapolitan colors there and also the blue from the background of the card. So that's that splatter background is done using this Nouveau uh, Mica Mist. And let me tell you something. It made a big mess. It came out all over the uh, spray thing all over my hands. It, it was tons of it on me. So anyways, that's some of the splatter there. But then I also took some of this Nouveau Glimmer, this Glimmer paste here, and I did some spots with it. Like you can, well, if I can get it in the frame, you can see one there. There's some in different spots on here. Then I took Nouveau Crystal Drops and I did the border with that. Sorry, I'm uh, my desk has a lot of stuff on it and so I'm trying to do this in a very narrow spot. Then I took and I made a I keep hitting the button on the top of my camera. Uh, I made a whipped cream dollop there with a cherry on top and the whipped cream has some sprinkles on it, which are just plastic from, um, I think, Michael's. And new, the Nouveau Glitter Marker is what I did the cherry with. It's on white paper. And then I just colored it in with that. I hope you can see it. And then I went around a piece of the white cardstock with some um, washi tape. And it says, here's the scoop. Um, this is, this cone is done on a piece of sort of a tan paper, but then I used uh, cinnamon stickles by Ranger to make the lines on the ice cream cone. I wanted something, I don't know, I just kind of wanted this to be very glittery, and it is. See, there's a drip from the chocolate, a drip from the vanilla, and a drip from the strawberry. So whoever gets this card better eat their cone soon or their ice cream's all gonna melt. Anyways, it's not my best card. I admit 
I was just trying to do something that would incorporate a lot of the products without being able to use the die cuts. And um, I also had this and I had that sitting on my desktop and where I had made another card. And I thought, well, you know what? We could use that to make the ice cream uh, shape. So, um, so that's how the idea came about. And, you know, and like I said, admittedly, it's not my best card, but it will work. Um, you know, it's homemade. You don't expect it to be perfect, right? I hope not because it's not. But there you go, using up some of those products, and um, I will make something eventually using the um, the dies, but I have to get my die cutting machine. I think I know where it is in the storage. I just have to make it over there to get it. So um, maybe here in an another couple of videos, maybe we'll actually make uh, a project using the dies. But I hope it's um, I hope it's cute enough. It's like I said, I'm not really all that crazy about it, but uh, somebody asked me to show the use of washi tape and there you go. There's some in the background to mimic and you know, to draw in those colors. And um, we got some flowers and we've got some solids and then we've got some glittery ones. So there we go. I don't know. It's what I did. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you'll give me that big old thumbs up and that you'll Comment and let me know what you think of the card. Like I said, I don't really care for it. So if you say you don't care for it, I'm not going to get my feelings hurt. Uh, or just say hi. And please subscribe to my channel. And please my share my video with others so they might subscribe as well. And I thank you for watching and listening to me babble. And I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye-bye.